I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. At least we're out of the classroom. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fun. You are the talk of the school since you saved Mr. Rabe and I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harlem. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find.
I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. I have been meaning to speak with you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. <sighs> Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also a Nanomagus, I take it? He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. 
You deserve all of the praise you have received. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was hoping you might want to redeem yourself for not having brought me that fruit of feather and potions. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. <laughs> you and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah. Brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. This looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Descendium. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Repair all. That seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here?
Expelliarmus. Bombarder. Kundringer. to get past this. Get across. Repair all. Let me also. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Let me also. Aha. Got it. This must be the one. I need to find a way to open that gate. Bombarder! Confringo! Something smells sweet. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? Rebellion. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywigs things. You got them? Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time and I need a friend. <laughs> Nothing warms a body like this. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. 
This may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Rays is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. On another adventure, are we? Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. I'm over here. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> get ready to lose. That wasn't too difficult. Excellent. I can do better. Say so myself. Going well. 
wasn't too difficult. Quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. Will you keep running these courses? I'll race them myself. <laughs> don't want to get rusty. But I won't be dealing with time trials. You're welcome to run them too. Anyway, hope we find time to fly again soon. I take it you want to play for a team, but which one? And which position? I'm my father's girl. A chaser through and through. You'd know that if Black hadn't cancelled Quidditch this year. As for a team, it's the holy head harpies I've always dreamt of. When I'm finished with school, I'll try out. If for some reason I don't get accepted. I don't know what I'll do. Herbology, perhaps? Because if that did happen, <laughs> you might as well pot me and call me a mandrake. I'd never stop screaming. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here, fifth year. You're an asset to our house. You take care of yourself. I should... Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be here. Well, hard work and good luck go hand in hand. How's my favourite test flyer? What are we looking for today? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well, then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. <laughs>